Good evening, YouTube friends and neighbors. Welcome back to another video here. I am Tori, your host of Tori's Encounter Worship Channel. Good to see everyone here. Good to have you guys joining in from all over, all over the United States, all over the world, all over the globe, really. Good to see everybody here. I wish I was live. <laughs> I can't have, I can't go live until I have a thousand followers, y'all. I need some thousand followers up in here. No, I'm just playing. But uh, I cannot go live on my channel until I have at least up to a thousand followers. So I want to get <laughs> My prayers to get to a thousand followers. There we go. My prayers to get to a thousand followers this coming year. This coming year, folks. So I am going to talk about keys to receiving deliverance from demonic spirits tonight. Keys to receiving deliverance. From demonic spirits. You know, last Saturday I got set free of fear, doubt, and unbelief. And I was, I was really, really in tune with God. And I was really, really, I was really just in tune with him all my life. I've known him all my life, but I had demonic, <coughs> excuse me, I had demonic spirits who would come and try to attack my life. Try to tell me I'm not gonna be a worship leader, I'm not gonna be an anointed psalmist, I'm not gonna be this, I'm not gonna be that, I'm not gonna talk about topics on my channel. And <laughs> Next thing you know, I get on a messenger group, on Messenger, and I tell my friends, I'm not going to name names, but I tell my friends that, hey, I want to be set free from this demonic spirit that is tormenting, because he was literally tormenting my mind, y'all. He was tormenting my mind, he was tormenting my spirit, my relationship with God, he, oh my, y'all, he was just, it was just bad. It was bad, y'all. And so, um, last Saturday, actually this past Saturday, I got set free from demonic spirits of fear, doubt, and unbelief. So, praise God for that. And for those who can see, I'm wearing a dress. And I am, I'm wearing, I don't know what color it is. Um. I'm wearing like a dress. I, I went to a wedding last night. I'm not going to name anybody, but I went to a friend's wedding last night. So, um, at some Baptist, <coughs> oh, excuse me, some Baptist church. I had a tickle in my throat. I, I went to a, a wedding at some Baptist church last night and wore this dress that you guys can probably see on me. Um, I don't know what color it is though, so I can't give you that description. But yeah, um, here we are. Here we are, folks. We're here with another video and I'm gonna try to make it short here. We are going to talk about keys to receiving deliverance. Keys to receiving your deliverance and the first key that I want to point out is prayer and fasting. You know, most of you I know fast. Some of you may not. It's okay. Not everybody has to fast. Um, it does talk about fasting in the Bible. I forget what verse. If you know what verse talks about fasting and praying in the Bible, Please put it in the comments below, because I'd love to hear from you. And um, it's been a while since I've heard from some of my friends on here. Man, <laughs> it's 
those who are busy, I can understand that. Those who are busy, I, I understand. You've got a busy life. That's okay. Um, but feel free and comment when you can. When you can. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the first step is prayer and fasting is the key to deliverance. Is the first key. Um, because we need to pray while we're fasting because if we just fast one to two bleh, one to two can I not talk please <laughs> one to two meals a day if we just pray and fast guys one to two meals a day we are and we're not praying we're basically on a diet right so if we are fasting while we're praying if we pray and fast one or two meals a day, that's great. Because prayer and fasting are is the number one key to deliverance from strongholds, deliverance from demonic spirits, deliverance from oppression, depression, any type of trauma you've been dealing with. And i got to be very careful what I say on here. Um which I am, I'm not saying I'm not, but, but, you know how social media is, guys. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's the first step in receiving keys to deliverance is prayer and fasting. The second step is, the second key, second step, the second key is Take all of your problems and read the Word of God for your situation. You know, sometimes we can get caught up in a lot of confusion and a lot of misconception on what the Bible says about deliverance. But the Bible does say to take your Cast your burdens on the Lord. And the Lord will soon heal. heal that. Here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I'm having, I'm having much trouble with words tonight. <laughs> the Lord will soon hear you and will make you free. And the Bible also says, who the son sets free is free indeed. That's the second key to deliverance. Y'all gotta bear with me. I'm suffering from allergies. <coughs> but, um, the second, so the first key is to pray, fast and prayer. The second key to mm -hmm. receiving deliverance from demons is to take your worries and put them at the Word of God. Read the Word of God. And then the third thing the third thing is to call on the saints to pray for you and by the authority given, because the Bible does say that all authority has been given unto you to heal the sick, cast out devils, raise the dead, right? And so if we don't practice this, we don't practice healing the sick, casting out devils, meaning demons, right? If we don't practice doing this, guys, then it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen because, you see, the Bible talks about us healing the sick, casting out devils, raising the dead. Now, some of you think that may be impossible. But it's not. If that's what the Bible says to do, then we're going to do it, right? Those who believe in the apostolic message, those who believe in, you know, Catholic tradition, Messianic tradition, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know many of you. <laughs> I know some of you, but not all of you. I don't know. Some of you are Baptist. I don't know um, what Baptists believe in. I, I don't know if they believe in the apostolic message or not. But, um, 
feel free to uh, let me know in the comments what your beliefs are about the Bible telling us to cast out demons. Because I'd love to hear from you. So, the third, the first key is prayer and fasting. The second key is the Word of God. Reading the Bible, right? The third key is to do what the Bible says and for us to cast out demons by the authority given. You see, the authority, guys, you have to understand something, folks. The authority has been given among us to cast out demons. Okay? Demons of any kind. Demons of sickness. Demons of doubt. Demons of fear. Demons of unbelief. Demons of oppression. Demons of suicide. Demons of trauma. Right? Any, any kind of thing you're going through. And I, I, Like I said earlier, I gotta be careful. But, um... We are going to actually close out and I'm going to pray over you guys because some of you guys are suffering from sickness physically. Some of you guys are suffering from really bad spirits that keep telling you to have allergy symptoms. Some of you guys are tormented by these lies of the enemy. You've tried everything you could. You, you, you say, sister, I, I've tried everything I could. I have no assurance here. What do I do? Well, the keys, again, number one, prayer and fasting. Number two, reading the word of God. Number three, casting the devils out, right? Casting out the devils. I think, if I'm not mistaken, let me know in the comments, I think... It's Matthew chapter 10 and verse 1 where it says uh, to, where it talks about casting out devils. Again, I, I don't have a very good memory, y'all. I'm getting old. I'll be 30. <laughs> I'll be 30 this year, y'all. This October, I'll be 30. But um, I'm getting old, guys. I'm getting old. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway. Anyway. So, I'm going to start praying, and I'm going to just pray that God will heal you physically, spiritually, and emotionally, and I'm going to cast out some demonic spirits, all right? So, now... Some people yell at demonic spirits, but I ain't gonna do that, okay? I gotta be careful, y'all. I gotta be careful. But, um, anyway, anyway, so, we're gonna get to it, um, without further delay. So, we're gonna pray, and I'm going to minister. I wish I was on live so I could minister one by one on a live chat. But I'm gonna minister through a video, so, <laughs> um... Anyway, anyway, oh man, Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day that you've given us. We thank you for the pleasure of having kids, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews. We thank you for the joy of having family. We thank you for the joy of worshiping you. God, just to celebrate all that you've done for us. Thank you, God, that we have been in a place, God, where you have called us to yourself. We thank you, Lord, that you have opened the doors for us. And God, you have placed your hands on your people tonight. God, I just, I lift up every single one to you. And I command by the authority of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the power of the Holy Ghost, 
I command every single demon of sickness, every single demon of lies, every single demon of doubt, every single demon of despair, of emptiness, of oppression, of depression, of any type of trauma there is. I command every single one, every single one of you demonic spirits, every single one of you demonic spirits of sickness, demonic spirits of allergies, demonic spirits of, of any type of situation, either physically or spiritually. I command every single one of you demonic spirits of doubt, of fear, of unbelief. I command every single one, you must leave now. Every single one. Some of you have been tormented by witchcraft. And some of you are going to get delivered tonight. Some of you are going to get delivered from that. Some of you have been tormented by covenants. By a covenant that you may have made. By doors that you may have opened that God didn't want you to open. To allow demons in your life. I detach every single one who is listening under the sound of my voice. I detach you from all depression. I attach you, I detach you from all oppression, all trauma, all kinds of thoughts, all covenant that has been made, that you may have made in your relationship with God that he did not want you to make. I, I detach you from the lies of Satan himself. I detach you from those evil, tormenting, jealous thoughts of anything. I detach you now and command on three. You must leave your, you must leave God's people now. On on three, I command you to leave now in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Out of God's people now. Out. Get out, demonic spirits of depression. Get out demonic spirits. Some of you have been dealing with a headache physically. And these demonic spirits are telling you to keep having this headache physically. Some of you have really bad headaches, really bad migraines. God is setting you free right now, hon. God is setting you people free right now from migraine headaches. I detach you now by the power and authority of the Holy Spirit. Now. Your time is up, demonic spirits of headache. Your time is up, demonic spirits of depression. I command you now to leave God's people in Jesus' name name in Jesus name I release 
the anointing on your people. In Jesus' name, I release a special anointing with the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you now from all that. I detach you from thoughts that the enemy might have bring, brung to you. <clears throat> I detach you now by the power and authority that was given to everyone. I cast these demonic thoughts out now in Jesus name in Jesus name leave demonic spirits of depression of suicide leave now in Jesus name leave God's people I don't care if you don't want to leave. Leave your people. Leave God's people now. I don't care if you're upset. Leave God's people now. Leave. Some of you have been dealing with so much, and I'm not going to go into all the detail here, but some of you have been dealing with so much pain. Physically, you've had chronic pain, you've had chronic arthritis, demonic spirit of arthritis, leave now, leave, leave God's people now, I don't care if you don't want to leave, leave God's people now, leave God's people, you demonic spirit of jealousy, leave you demonic spirits of tormenting God's people on here, leave now. In Jesus' name, leave now. Spirits of, some of you have diabetes. Spirit of diabetes, leave now. Blood pressure return back to normal now. I detach you from all that was said by these spirits. I detach you from that in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Stop with your nonsense. Demonic spirits of lies. Stop with your nonsense telling God's people that they're not going to be ministers. Stop with the nonsense. In Jesus' name. You spirit of tormenting migraines, headaches, stop causing your people, stop causing God's people to have headaches. Stop with your nonsense. In Jesus' name name now when i say stop with your nonsense i ain't talking about you guys all right <laughs> i'm talking to the demonics okay <laughs> i'm talking to the demonic spirits all right please understand that but um i know i gotta be careful but anyway anyway y'all if you need prayer if you need prayer if you need to renounce something please let me know if you need to pray if you need to have my help those who know me those who don't please let me know all right those who follow me on facebook and messenger please let me know privately if you need some counseling if you need counseling if you need uh assistance with anything of casting the any type of demonic spirit out of you let me know all right let me know and uh that was great <laughs> god is setting you free guys god is setting you free hallelujah 
Hallelujah. God is setting you free tonight, y'all. God is setting you free tonight. Hallelujah. God setting you free. God setting y'all free, hun. God setting you free tonight. Some of you have kids. God sending your kids free tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some of you have had this tormenting spirit for a long time. God setting you free from it. Of fear, doubt, and unbelief. God setting you free. Hallelujah. God setting you free tonight. Amen. Amen. God setting you free from addiction to cigarettes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. God setting you free tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. God's setting you free from the addiction of drugs and alcohol. God's setting you free tonight. God's setting you free tonight. Just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's setting you free from uh, um, the um, really bad um, thing that people are addicted to. I'm not going to name it, but uh, it's something to do with pornography, but I ain't going to name that. But God's sending you free tonight. God's sending you free from chains tonight, chains of addiction, chains of uh, jealousy. God's sending y'all free. Uh, God's sending you free tonight. I don't know who this person is, but God is setting you free from all thoughts of suicide and depression. God's setting you free tonight. God's setting you free from emptiness and despair tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's setting you free. God is good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If that means you got to cough it out, look, y'all. If that means you got to cough the evil spirit out of you, cough it out. All right? Because I let me tell y'all something. I've heard that on many YouTube videos where people have coughed and gotten sick of the so bad of the demonics that were tormenting their minds from Jesus. So don't you know, don't let that scare you. If you get sick and have to cough it out, cough it out. That means the demon's coming out of you. Amen. The demons are coming out, y'all. The demons are manifesting out of you. They may not want to leave, but they have to leave. They have to obey, folks. The demons have to obey. Why do the demons have to obey? Some of you are asking, why are the demons having to obey? Well, they have to obey the anointing of God. You see, when, when you cast the devil out, the demons obey you by the word of God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Thank you for your comments. I really appreciate you. Just like I said before, keep comments respectful and positive, uplifting. You, if you know a Bible verse, you're welcome to send it in the comments. If you have any praise reports, prayer requests, please feel free to send it. All right, feel free to send it and listen. If I don't get back to y'all's comments right away, please know that I'm not ignoring you. I may be busy with my nephews. I may be busy with friends. I may be busy with family. You know, please know that I'm not trying to ignore y'all. All right? I'll get back to you as soon as I can. <laughs> but um, I love every single one of you. And God loves you too. God wants to be with you. God wants to set you free tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, guys. We're going to try to do some songs tomorrow morning, if possible. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do some songs tomorrow morning. I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. If you guys have any songs, yeah, if you guys have any songs, by the way, please feel free to send them in the comments. Or feel free to send them to me on Facebook. Those who follow me on Facebook and Messenger, feel free to send them. Any song request? <clears throat> I can do Waymaker. Um, I can do all kinds of stuff, y'all. I can do all kinds of stuff. House of the Lord. And uh, all that good stuff, y'all. All that good stuff. Just send me some songs that you might want to worship to. And uh, we'll do that. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, I love you. 
And I love each and every one of y'all. I love you guys. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, oops, almost said that word. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say subscribe words. <laughs> Feel free to follow me uh, here and on Facebook. So um, I love every one of y'all. And thank you to the new uh, followers here. Thank you so much. And God bless you. Jesus Christ is the answer to any and everything you're going through in life. I love you. Guys, we will see you all later. See you tomorrow morning if possible.